Miss Jen, your art teacher. I sure do miss seeing you and I miss having you in class. I hope you're enjoying this time at home with your moms and your dad and, and your brothers and sisters. I hope you're getting a lot of time to play and outside enjoying the nice weather. Um, I wanted to share a book with you just like I do at the beginning of every art class. This book doesn't really have anything to do with the lesson that I'm going to be doing later, but it's just a really, really awesome book. So I'm very excited to share it with you. It's called There's a Walket in My Pocket. It's by Dr. Seuss. And I brought my friend here, Mr. Yacht. Hi, boys and girls. It's good to see you. I miss them. I know Mr. Yacht. I miss them too. You can give him a big air hug. Okay, ready? Here you go. Ready? Open up and squeeze. Did you guys feel the hug from Mr. Yacht? We'll try it again. Ready, open up and squeeze. <gasps> that was a good hug. Okay, let's get started, boys and girls. There's a walket in my pocket. Did you ever have a feeling there's a wasket in your basket? Or a neuro in your bureau, or a wasset in your closet. You ever had those in your closet? Me neither. How about you, Mr. Yacht? Nope, not Mr. Yacht either. Sometimes I feel quite certain there's a jerton in the curtain. Sometimes I have the feeling there's a zlock behind the clock. And that Zelf up on the shelf, I have talked to him myself. Can you find the Zelf, boys and girls? Do you see him hiding? <gasps> there he is, right there. Let's see. That's the kind of house I live in. There's a Nink in the sink and a Zam in the lamp. And they're rather nice, I think. They do look awfully nice, don't they? He's especially cute, isn't he? Some of them are very friendly. <gasps> like the yacht in the pot. He's a super friendly guy, aren't you, Mr. Yacht? Yes, 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 very friendly. But that yachtle in the bottle, some are friendly, some are not. That is not very nice, is it? the zabel on the table and the gear under the chair, but that bofa on the sofa, well, I wish he wasn't there. Mr. Bofa takes up a lot of space, doesn't he? And all those nubbers in the cupboards, they're good fun to have about, but the noothgrush on my toothbrush, him I could do without. That is a very large thing to have on your toothbrush, don't you think? And the Quimney up the chimney, I don't like him, not at all. And it makes me sort of nervous when the Zoll scoots down the hall. But the Yeps on the steps, they're great fun to have around. And so are many, many other friends that I have found. Let's count the Yeps, boys and girls. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. There's five Yeps. And what color are the Yeps? Can you tell me what color they are? Green, that's right, they're green, boys and girls. Good job. Like the teller and the neller and the geller and the deller and the beller and the weller and the zeller in the cellar. Whew, that was a lot of words. What color do we see here, boys and girls? There's a lot of the same color. Can you see, can you see what color that is? Blue, right? Good job. And the geeling on the ceiling and the zower in my shower. And the zillow on my pillow. I don't care if you believe it, that's the kind of house I live in and I hope we never leave it. He has a lot of creatures in his house, doesn't he boys and girls? Well, thank you so much for listening to my story. Mr. Yacht and I really did love Love reading to you, and I hope you have a wonderful day, boys and girls. I miss you, and I hope to see you soon. Bye!